everyone, I'm Cindy and welcome to my channel. So it's been a while since the last time that I did any pick a card readings because I have been busy with my art project, with my stuff. So anyway, I am back and I want to make some more videos for my channel for you. And so I am going to start this video with the question about whoever it is that you have in mind. Go think about them, focus on them, whether it's romantic or platonic. It just really depends on your own situation but I feel like mostly the energy here that I feel it's going to be like a romantic relationship whether you are in a relationship or not so go ahead and think about the person that you want to know how do they feel about you how do they think about you whatever it is let's find out and so here we have three different pile of cards this is pile number one pile number two and pile number three you can pause this video to meditate on the cards tune in with your intuition connect with source universe higher self whatever term that you use and go ahead and also take a deep breath if you would like to also do that just pause the video and pick which pile you feel most drawn to now i also wanted to say that if you feel drawn to more than one pile card that is totally normal so you can just pick for example you feel drawn to pile number two and pile number three then go ahead and just pick those two piles because the universe has no limitation or whatsoever to bring you the necessary message and guidance that you need and so who knows that you need to know something from this pile but you also have to listen to some of the messages from this pile so anyway go ahead and pause the timestamp is down below Below in the description and also in the comments so I hope that you will enjoy this video and resonate with the messages just remember if some things doesn't resonate then just let it go or if you feel like you want to keep it and maybe see it for you know later times then go ahead please don't forget to like comment down below how do you feel about this reading does it resonate with you and if you want to share your experience as well with whatever situation that you are dealing with go ahead and share it down below i would love to hear it from you don't forget to subscribe as well and click the bell ring so you will know whenever i post a new video and i almost forgot to say i apologize that if this crystals distract you then i'm just going to take them away this is a rose quartz this is a lapis lazuli and this is just like i don't know like a crystal moon pendant so anyway if this crystals distract you then i'm just going to take them away i'm going to put them away and you can just like focus on the cards instead okay so for those of you who pick pile card number one with the um, rose quartz let's just see how does your person feels and think about you whether it's romantic or platonic just remember that it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not just think about the person and so straight away we have a wedding card here from the romance card angel and i feel like this person really wants commitment from you but there is a sense that they're not like a hundred percent ready yet either that's them or you so whether they feel like they're not a hundred percent ready to jump straight into this commitment or that they feel like you are not ready to jump into this commitment but they do want this you know happy be everlasting relationship with you and they do want to look towards the future with you i see that they they feel like they can't you know they, they want to imagine all of this amazing happy things and they're fantasizing a lot of like wonderful happy situations with you towards the future like they can definitely see you in their future this is the energy what i'm getting but you also receive okay so water is a very emotional in-depth kind of um element it's very spiritual as well and we also got the high priestess here which is a major arcana card and that is a powerful card as well now what I see from these two cards is that I feel this person 
is either this person is feeling this way or this person feels that you are experiencing like a comp like a complicated complex decision time within your life about everything that's going on because i feel like there's a lot of things going on behind the scene with both of you separately and so either this person has some things may, maybe it has something to do with like financial situation or family life or friends whatever it is that might be a little bit hindering them for going to approach you or that they feel you are being in the state that you're taking a bit of a long time <laughs> to have this contemplation you know time where you want to make a decision like they feel like you are not giving them a clear answer or a clear choice what do you want from this relationship or like I said that this person is feeling that way about this relationship but like I said definitely this person does want a future with you because with the wedding card here we see a commitment here this person is serious and they are watching you and for some of you it might not resonate with all of you but for some of you <laughs> this person might as well be a little bit like stalking you as in stalking on social media they just want to know what's up with you they want to know your journey and they want to know what you're up to what you're doing in your everyday life they want to make sure that you're you know happy they want to make sure that you're doing fine that you're happy in life and that you're healthy they really do care about your well-being and so with the high priestess it's about um having patience because this person understands that if you are the one that's not giving them a clear message or clear answer about whether you want to commit in this relationship or not this person understands that okay you still need to chill you still need to you know have your own meditative uh, meditation like self meditation time and contemplation time so this person is having patience they know that you need that time alone but if you are the one who feels like why isn't this person you know <laughs> giving me the right answer a clear message answer whatever it is i have been waiting for such a long time i am kind of running out of patience here if you are the one who's feeling that way the high priestess is telling that you need to really tune into your intuition listen to your gut feelings and you know just wait for that perfect divine timing before you make a rash impulsive decision whether you want to leave this relationship or not as in if you want to still give it a chance or not because the high priestess is telling that you really need to feel your gut feelings you have to trust your intuition meditate connect with your higher self connect with source or universe and truly find the answer what does your heart really really wants truly really really wants from this relationship before you end it you know um before you know you you choose something to end or like i said like a rash impulsive decision and it's just very important for you to consider this before you go act on it so that's basically it from what i read from the situation and i don't see that this is like the, if there's any like big issue or anything negative i don't see that so don't worry just keep doing what you can do right now and like i said this reading can be either that person is dealing with this stuff or that you are dealing with this stuff and they know they are completely aware that you are dealing with it so i hope that this reading resonates with you please don't forget to like if it resonates and comment down below what do you think about this reading and don't forget to also subscribe and click the bell ring if this reading resonates and if you resonate with my energy overall with the vibe of my channel so if you want some more videos then go ahead keep updated with me on my instagram as well at adora's light all of the link is in the description down below okay so for those of you who pick pile card number two with the lapis lazuli here just gonna put it again okay, i'm just gonna put it over here 
So let's see what does your person think or feel about you, about whatever relationship or connection that you have. Okay, so straight away we got a major arcana card here. It says ego and then we also have queen of earth and these two cards from the romance angel card deck, release your ex and reconciliation. So I'm getting quite a bit of a mixed message here because I feel like there are different several situations in this pile. So there's a lot of things going on. So the first thing straight up what I feel from this card is that this person, whether again, like whether this is romantic or platonic, the person that you have in mind, how do they feel about you and how do they think about you or the relationship that they have with you? They feel like you are not completely letting go of your ex yet or whatever it is that happened with you in the past with other people, whether it's like friendship or relationship. There is a certain connection that you had in the past that was painful, that was quite trauma traumatic even in a way and this person truly they, they truly understand how you feel about the past they understand how you like the things that you still have to deal with they understand your pain they're so aware of it and they have so much compassion with you but they are they might not want to admit it straight away because they don't know how to say it but I feel like deep down in their heart they're kind of like begging you to please let go of the past because this is hurting you and I can see that you are hurting but I I just want to say that please just let this go just heal from this past move on because you deserve so much better I feel like this is the the vibe the energy that I'm getting from their hearts and and so that is the situation but from some of you from some other people I feel like this person is the the person in your mind is actually the one who might hurt you in the past or maybe you both had some type of miscommunication misunderstanding that caused a lot of like frictions in your connection again whether this is romantic or uh, like a relationship platonic relationship or friendship but this person really wants to apologize to you but I I feel like they don't really know how because they don't know how to approach you in the space that you can actually listen to them and that you're willing to just like sit down and listen to them like and see all this entire situation because they're kind of they're actually kind of afraid <laughs> again they might not like admit it out loud but they're actually kind of afraid to approach you because they don't know how you're going to react they're very truly are sorry but they don't want you to get so mad at them I feel like there is a sense that they just don't want you to hate them deep down they don't want you to cut them off like completely cut any attachments or like hey you know i don't want you in my life anymore something like that they they're really scared of that actually that's what i'm feeling and that's why they want to talk to you they really want to talk to you they want to apologize they want to come clean this is why their the, the card reconciliation comes up but they really don't know how they just don't know how and so what i feel from in this card of what you gotta know is that you just have to be patient but right now it's very important for you to work on yourself to have you know your healing time you, you need a lot of healing time this is what i feel you need a lot of healing time and to work on releasing your ex whether it's an ex-friend an ex-boyfriend girlfriend whatever it is so that the past energy, the past pain, the past negativity, the past trauma would not block or hinder you from actually making this relationship work because I see that this relationship can be very, very wonderful and bring you a lot of abundance. And this is quite strange because i see there is connection between this person um you having a connection with this person that can actually bring you abundance and prosperity as in financially 
So whether you are thinking of working together with this person, collaborating, whatever it is when it comes to business, it can help you a lot or just by the energy of you being in union with this person. The energy of you being in like yeah in union or even in marriage like i don't know that that word just came into my head that union or marriage when you have it with this person the energy itself it can bring you into a state of such high vibration such high positive vibration that can attract so many awesome things because the queen of earth is everything about manifestation it's about the law of attraction. It's about making everything a possibility, making everything happen. Everything is just a wonderful success. It's all about abundance and prosperity. So what you have to know about the situation right now is that if you are the one who's dealing with the ego thing of like you, you're still you know clinging into your pride then i think it's just time for you to go ahead and start communicating with this person even if you feel like why should i do this again like i'm always the one who's doing a lot of effort i'm the one who's always communicating and stuff like that i mean i personally can relate to this i think because sometimes this is the situation that i also experience but the cards are saying that you are going to have such a wonderful time with this person whether it's friendship or relationship because if you just let go of the ego or like i said if you let go of the past you can definitely move on to a much better state of connection with this person because this can actually be wonderful so the only thing that's blocking you and this person is just like past pain past trauma but if this is the person, if this person is the one who is uh, dealing with this kind of stuff and you're the one who's trying to reach them out but you don't know how, then maybe it's time to just be patient and meditate. Whether you want to go ahead and try approach this person or you want to wait for that person to reach out to you, I think this time is a great time to truly meditate and just connect in with your higher self and find what would be the best answer for this the, the best guidance because the the thing is like i see that the situation is quite complicated because i feel like this person wants to communicate with you but they're scared while at the same time you want to communicate with this person but you might as well be scared and so it's like you both want to communicate you both want to come in together into union into a committed relationship or a connection or a collaboration but the only thing that's hindering you both is just that fear of communication because they they, they have either they or you have this fear of rejection, fear of not being accepted and fear of being judged by everything that you are, who and what you really are. And for some of you, I also feel that you feel fear of being judged based on the past, whatever it is that you experienced or you did in the past. But it's okay because I see the with the reconciliation card it's it's really nice card actually and so what you gotta know is with the Queen of Earth like I said this is a very positive law of attraction card and manifestation card as well the Queen of Earth is someone who's very thoughtful warm and sensible and so if you both come into together that's the kind of energy and vibe that you're going to come in so i see everything in this card is actually wonderful it's all just about communication but right now you do need to let go of the past and go ahead and do that self-healing so i hope that this reading resonates with you if it does please leave a like and comment down below how do you feel about this reading share it with me share your feelings share your thoughts if you resonate with the vibe and the energy of my channel overall please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell ring so you will know whenever i post new videos 
I will be back with more. If you want to keep some more updates with me, you can also follow my Instagram at Adoris Light. All of that link is in the description down below. Hello everyone. So for those of you who pick pile card number three with this, um, I don't know, like a simple crescent moon pendant, I'm just going to put it over here. Let's see how your person thinks and feel about you, about this relationship, connection, whatever it is. Remember, this can be a romantic or platonic. It can be um, a romantic relationship or even a friendship. So... Alright, so straight away with the honeymoon card right here that we received from the romance card angel The honeymoon, I feel like this person really really wants to have a nice time with you as in just like Let's relax, let's chill, let's go on a trip together or maybe as simple as Okay, the vibe that I feel from here is that this person wants to ask you out for dinner, like a really nice dinner in a nice place, might as well be luxurious. So it can be as simple as just asking you out or it can also be as far as actually asking you for a trip. I mean, inviting you for a trip, a vacation some type of that like a vacation that's relaxing that's chill where you both can have a nice private time together where you both can truly connect and get to know each other and so this card of honeymoon it can really depends the about the situation or the stage of your relationship right now so whether you are already in the relationship or not if you are in a relationship this also depends how far you are in the relationship maybe you're already engaged maybe you're already married or you are still in the in the dating you know stage in this relationship so this honeymoon card can means a lot of different things so if anything triggers within you that is trying to give you the the very specific message then go ahead listen to your gut feelings like I said you have to also listen to your own intuition to your own gut feelings and to your higher self as well but with the honeymoon like I said this person wants to hang out with you in the in the way that's very personal and private where you can just get to know each other much better whether it's going out at the dinner or lunch or go out walk at the park or as far as you know having a trip together having a vacation together in a really nice place somewhere and I, <laughs> okay so for some of you you might as well be attracted to have a vacation or travel to Italy Maybe some of you already went to Italy sometime in the past or maybe you are already planning or maybe you're just thinking about it but if you have any idea to have a honeymoon for those of you who are in, engaged or married then going on a honeymoon to Italy might be a really good idea and also to the Maldives I don't know why but that just suddenly it just it just came up in my mind so go ahead and take it if it resonates with you and so I'm just going to put it aside for just a moment and I'm going to show you so we have three cards of the element air now air has a lot to do with like the logical mind someone or a situation that's very diplomatic that has a lot with communication or needs a lot of communication because it's everything with the logical like the left side uh, part of the brain everything that has to do with logic accounting diplomatic stuff and you know stuff like that so we have seven of air which is about plants that need revision more things going on that meets the eye two of air being unable or unwilling to make a decision a stalemate and three of air a great sadness and taking the time to heal okay so what i feel in this connection is that whether you are the one who's dealing with like a loss a separation or a breakup right now if you are the one who's dealing with this 
I see that the person, whoever it is, I mean, th this person is truly aware of your sadness and pain. And they want you to get out of this situation. They want you to escape the situation. So for some of you, I can feel, uh, I feel like this can be a friend. This can be a friend, maybe like your best friend who has been there through all the rough and stuff with you and they see that you are suffering in this relationship or that they see you are suffering in this breakup. So either this is a best friend or maybe a potential new lover really wants you to get out of this toxic or sad relationship because they see that you're not happy there and i see that they're not doing it because they want you to get out of the situation so that you would pay attention to them they're actually very selfless in this situation i see that they're very selfless they just want you to get out of the situation so whatever situation that you are experiencing right now in your life there is a sense of loss or separation or breakup that you're dealing with whether it's like quitting a job or maybe you just had a huge fight with your family or you literally just had a breakup with your partner whatever it is there is a great sense of loss or separation or just sadness for some of you i see that you might as well be dealing with some mental issue mental condition like depression as well and this person sees that this person is paying a lot of attention to whatever you are dealing with and they want to help you but they kind of just don't know how to help you but they really want you to get out of the mud they really want you to escape the cycle okay so with the seven of air the seven of air in this illustration there is this uh, carousel of uh, horses is, did i say that right carousel carousel i am so sorry but <laughs> english uh, English is not my first language. I'm fluent by talking, but it's not my first language. But this is carousel of the, the horses. And there are two horses over here that's out of this cycle, of this endless cycle, this endless pattern, this endless circle. There are two horses that's out, escaping away from this endless cycle. So I feel like this person wants to break you free from this cycle. And they want you to be free and to have a wonderful time somewhere out there where you can chill, you know, just chill and relax. And the honeymoon is a part of like having a vacation, just like a relaxing vacation by the beach or to the lake or somewhere that's relaxing and healthy for you. So I see this is what the person trying to do for you. This is how they feel about the situation and what they're thinking like i think that this person is also planning they're thinking right they're planning of what they can do for you so that is the message for those of you who are you are the one who's dealing with these things but if you are the one who sees that this other person who are dealing with these things then the the message is like vice versa then maybe you can go ahead and approach this person and offer a hand you know help or offer offer a shoulder to cry on stuff like that because either it's you or this person are still being in this state of denial because either you or this person is acting like pretending there's no problem and they're dealing with a lot of things they're really stressed out or pressure about whatever heavy situation that they're dealing with or they dealt with in the past but it's still kind of haunting them because the the two of air is talking about a stalemate or like being in denial or that you are dealing with some things within yourself or or they are dealing with some things within themselves they're very heavy because there's a huge like a lot energy of heaviness in this card in this pile because the tree of earth 
three sorry three of air three of air is also about great sadness and take the need to take time to heal and to also forgive yourself and others or whatever situation that you are dealing with or that it happened in the past so again remember just tune in with your intuition whatever resonates go ahead and take it if this is about you then this is how the person sees your situation or vice versa because seven of air two of air three of air oh my gosh all of this card it's about like sadness or depression or a feeling of just pressure or a lot of stress that's why with the honeymoon card i feel that this person wants to get away from the situation or if you're the, the one who's dealing with this, you want to get away from the situation. You want to have a nice vacation or trip somewhere out there and this person truly supports it or that you're the one who wants to support this person to have a nice vacation. So anyway, take what resonates, but I really do hope this resonates with you. That's it what I received for you who picked pile card number three. I hope this resonates, so please don't forget to like and comment down below. How do you feel about this reading? Whatever it is, go ahead and share it with me, your thoughts, your feelings, share it with me. I would love to hear it from you. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell ring so you will know whenever I post new stuff and also check my Instagram at Adora's Light. All of the link is in the description down below.